Hey guys, how you going? All right, um, we're going to do some additional messages, okay? Um, long time no see, guys. I hope you've all been well. All right. Um, wow, what an interesting, uh, you know, two weeks it's been, hey? Eh? All right, we're going to get stuck into it. I'm going to pick that one because it's jumping out. Okay. Okay, we've got the oyster. All right, so the oyster is equivalent to the Ace of Cups in the Rider Waite, okay? So this talks about a new emotional opportunity coming in, something that is new. Uh, with the oyster, it also talks about something which is uh, hidden in plain sight, something which is, uh, you know, looks rough on the outside, holds something valuable within, okay? Uh, I, I'm actually getting the word opportunity, opportunity. Okay, we've got the B in reverse, which can talk about work here, or it talks about um, a, a lot of little tasks, a lot of a lot of things that needs to be done, all right? Um, it's multifaceted, multifaceted. The fact that it fell out with the bloody scorpion, mate, uh, makes me think this is more on a personal level, okay? But it can be related to work, considering everything that's going on at the moment. Um, uh, you know, I've heard, a lot, heard of a lot of people losing uh, work, their, their jobs, things like that. Okay, so this can actually be quite a painful experience, especially if we are, um, you know, or if we were quite attached to our role now uh, within the workplace, or, um, you know, if we've got, uh, you know, financial struggles, things like that, it can be actually quite painful. Whatever it is, with the scorpion here, it's multifaceted, okay? So we've got two two claws that can, you know, give us a bit of a nip, and we've also got a, um, a, uh, a barb up here. Uh, which inflicts quite a bit of pain, all right? If we take it on another level, I'm picking up for someone here that this could be a, um, a medical a medical issue here, just because with the scorpion, the scorpion can actually represent things like um, needles, shots, IV lines, stuff like that, uh, because of his spike up here. All right, um, so we'll have a look into that. I feel that this could be two separate messages, so we're going to have a look into the oyster first. Um, I am getting, with this combination here, I'm kind of getting it, oh, uh, um, like as if I'm just about to get a blood test or something like that, okay? So anyway, we'll have a look into the oyster, guys. All right, let's have a look see and see what this oyster's about. Okay, so the oyster could be about a direct how it is communication, all right? We've got the knight of swords here, which normally represents a medium-sized communication that comes in, all right, that is direct to the point. Okay, there may be a delay in this, or there may be some challenge or struggle regarding this, but we've got the sun, okay? So this is the card of Leo, um, but it's also a card of happiness. It is the happiest card in the deck, okay? So somehow these two are related, and I haven't quite figured it out yet, guys. This is quite an interesting um, interesting combination here. So we'll have a look into that sun. We'll see what goes on. Okay, so the sun is connected with the cloud, okay, so the cloud talks about um, anything of the mind, anything within the head, okay, uh, anything from daydreaming to, you know, something which is on your mind. It did fall out reversed here, which makes me feel um, that somebody is m might be letting something go within the head, okay, or dropping something within the mind. And we've got uh, the Destiny card here, uh, which in the traditional Lenormand deck, this is the cross, okay? So the cross represents burdens and struggles, uh, but it also represents destiny as well. Okay, so there could be um, some sort of burden connected with this um, or something to do with a symbolic destiny or your future, okay? Okay, we've got the diviner here, which could represent uh, anything from a psychic to predictions uh, to I knew that this was going to happen, okay? So intuition. We've got uh, messages, okay, which is backing up this knight of swords energy here so it's definitely connected with with a message on an emotional level all right so if this is you we're going to get you some guidance mate um this is directly affecting your own happiness as well all right we've got pause okay so there seems to be a bit of a delay especially with that knight of swords in reverse here so there seems to be a delay here for some reason Okay, and it's regarding a commitment here. So um, 
there could be a commitment involved. This might be the reason for the delay, okay? So uh, don't stress out if you're waiting on messages, uh, things like that, okay? Um, it, it's been, even though everyone's had a lot of time off and stuff, I've really noticed that it is hard to get your shit together right now, okay? It's hard for me to get my shit together and I've got nothing to do. It's like, um, you know, there's you know, there's actually things that I want to do. Um, for example, I, I'd love to get a new workout routine going and I've been wanting to do that. And I actually said it, I think it was on the last Virgo video, right but I'm struggling to, to make that commitment okay so that could be involved here so what we're gonna do is we're actually using a new deck guys so welcome to this new deck thank you Mel for this deck uh, it's called Ascended Masters okay uh, by Doreen Virtue so we're gonna get into this deck okay so this is all exciting guys we'll get some information on this it's a beautiful deck and you can like um, multi-layer the cards as well. They really give out really good meanings when you when you layer them up. Okay, so we've got positive changes taking place. Okay, or oh, this could be an overall theme, especially when it comes to um, you know destiny or what it is that you want or burdening. But I'm really feeling in general that um, positive changes are taking place regardless of delays here. All right, we've got twin flame here. Okay, which uh, I mean, well, yes, if you believe in twin flames, yes, it's quite a possibility it could be regarding a twin flame. But just in general, this card does talk about uh, sacred unions. Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, even soulmate um, connections, this can be, it doesn't have to be romantic. Uh, it can be, um, you know, friendship as well, a strong bonds, things like that. All right, we've got take charge of this situation, okay? So this is your opportunity to take charge uh, within the mind, okay? Uh, within the mind, I feel, especially with that thinking that thinking vibe there, you might be able to do something and take charge of this situation in some way um, where it can actually bring, I'm getting like a sense of peace, bringing you a sense of peace, all right? We've also got fertility here, which is quite interesting. I'm really feeling, you know, what is it that you really want to nurture within your life? Uh, it is a possibility that this information could uh, have just come through or will come through for you. And this will um, this will spark growth. OK, spark growth. I am picking up for some reason with the oyster here. Uh, I am picking up growth with the with the fertility uh, for somebody here, but I'm just letting you know with the oyster, they take a long time to grow, okay? So this is something that <laughs> could possibly have been taking a long time, will take a long time. There might be a time aspect involved here, all right? And we've also got, wow, we've got so many cards which fell out. All right, this could be a separate message, um, but we'll just, just take it out, rolls, all right? We've got Father, husband, brother, son. Okay, so this is a masculine card. Okay, I have Osiris. Um, and this talks about a masculine energy, okay? If it's not directly directly talking about a, um, a male within this situation, it's talking about action. It's talking about masculine energy is involved here to possibly detach from any drama. The drama could be surrounding you. It could be within this situation or it could just be the drama within your mind, okay? So we really got to have a good look at ourselves. And we've also got teacher, Okay, so is there something within this situation that you can learn? You know, can we learn from this situation? Is there something that we haven't quite found yet, uh, which we can learn from? Okay, is there someone around us that can help us uh, with, with learning what it is that we need to learn within this? Okay, I feel like this is very personal. I feel this is on a personal level, within the mind, within the heart. Uh, you know, very personal it feels. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, just to have a look deeper. I'm getting look deeper, look deeper. All right, within a situation, if you, you know, if there's a delay or a hold up, there's a reason why that's happening. All right, like whether it's for you personally or whether it's you know situations and it's divine timing, mate. It's divine timing. Okay, we're gonna have a look into this B and Scorpion energy going on. Um, how are we gonna do that? We'll have a look at these. Oh no, we'll we'll dig into it a little bit more. We'll do spell casters. All right. All right. Okay, so we've got the chariot in reverse, which talks about being unbalanced in some way or not being able to take a trip, okay? Or well, there might be challenges within travel. Yes, definitely. Okay, so the eight of wands, <laughs> eight of wands came out, all right, which represents travel, okay? The chariot does represent travel too, um, trips and stuff like that, okay? But the fact that it fell out reverse, you may be struggling with this. This can... Oh, 
also represent um, troubles with your car and stuff like that. So I'm actually feeling for somebody here that you might actually be having transportation issues here um, in some way. Okay, and especially if you live over on the East Coast, um, you know, it could be quite difficult to get out. I hear you guys are on lockdown. Uh, over here, it's not mandatory yet, but over there, I hear that it is. Okay, so there could be could be a challenge or a struggle here. Uh, but either way, we still have the Eight of Wands here, which does represent an actual travel. Okay, or movement in some way. Um, we've got the star card here, which is the card of Aquarius. All right, this talks about hopes, dreams, but it also talks about healing. I'm really picking up on a medical vibe here for somebody. All right, but this is about your own healing here. All right, we've got the Temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius. This card calls for balance, okay? And this is also a card of communication as well. Uh, this is about uh, also action and adventure, okay? <laughs> Just saying, um, if this is relating on another level with the Scorpion and the Bee and not being able to get it all together or seeing all the, all the bits of everything, all right? Um, and this calls for balance within the situation, all right? Um, so you may be trying to do things to bring, you know, bring bring yourself or the situation into balance. We've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which talks about a financial investment or investing on some level here, uh, but, you know, financial or not. And we've got the Page of Pentacles, which is in reverse. Now, the Page of Pentacles can represent children. Ch children or grandchildren may be involved in this, okay? And this might be the reason why there are difficulties or you can't be able to, you know, you're not able to get it all together. Otherwise, we're talking about a small material giving, okay? Uh, things such as, um, oh, you know, payments. I'm getting payments like uh, child payments, child support, small payments, things coming in on some level. And there seems to be a delay, a hold up. A I've got a cancellation for somebody. There's like, a, 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 it's a, on hold. It's on hold here. So if this is related to you, we're going to get you some advice here. If we can, we'll get you some guidance, mate. Uh, it kind of feels a little bit stressful. It, it feels like I'm in two places at once. Like it feels like I've got home duties that I need to uh, tend to or sort out. But I've also got to sort out my own crap. Uh, like out elsewhere, like out of the home, okay? So that could apply to you. Everything's going to mean different things for different people. So just take it on board, what is yours, and if it's not yours, just discard it, okay? It doesn't mean that it's, you know, the whole message is irrelevant. Uh, it just means that, you know, that bit of the message or that sentence doesn't apply to you. We've got Embrace here, which talks about releasing a burden. So when the Embrace card comes out, this is always screams to me, the archetype of Atlas, all right? So he's got the world on his shoulders, mate. He is burdened, and that's how I feel. I feel like, there's you know, there's a lot going on here. Um, and the fact that it, re it is reversed is like actually saying to me that, um, you know, someone is very burdened within this situation and is having trouble lightening the load um, or, you know, releasing that burden, okay? It may feel like your world has been turned upside down, all right? And, uh, you know, with what's going on at the moment, that wouldn't surprise me. Just saying. So as guidance... We want to correct that, okay, and try to release our burdens, even if it's on just a mental level, mate. Yeah, sweet. So we've got, so we've got Blossom here. So there's opportunity to transform here. There's opportunity to change things. With the Blossom card, this is about talking about, um, oh, like, yes, transforming the old into the new, things like that. But with those um, leaves there, this is this is talking about gathering it all together, Okay, all these little bits, all these little facets, whether it's information or whatever the hell's going on, it's very similar to the B energy, okay, multifaceted. Gathering all these little bits of information, bringing it all together and transforming it into something that you can use, okay, something that's going to give you motivation, something that is action orientated, you know, to get stuff done, uh, things like that. Uh, the I'm just getting the, like the fire within the fire within, okay, but if we're talking about the fire within and if this is anger, try not to freaking sting anyone, all right? <laughs> I know it's difficult, but sometimes it bloody happens, right? And um, we've got opportunity beckons. So um, regarding this situation, we seem to be in a dark patch. We may not be able to know where we're going or we'll still see where we're going, okay? So we've got a nighttime vibe here. This bloke is burdened, okay? So coming back to that embrace in the reverse, okay? So someone is bloody burdened here, all right? They've got the world on their shoulders. And there's kind of like a globe there as well. So it's kind of backing it up, all right? Um, but the thing is, is that within this situation, there is opportunity here, even if you can't say it. 
Okay, so we may need to wait. Um, we may need to wait for information to come in or travel to happen or uh, something to come to light um, or, what you know, we may need to bring balance into our life and, um, you know, be able to get that motivation and that fire back, okay, to be able to take that step forward. But whatever it is, um, try to, you know, if you're stuck or whatever, just know that this is going to pass, okay? But the night time passes in, 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 you know, into daybreak, in, in, into the day, okay? So um, don't give up hope, all right? It's all right. Um, we're going to get another Ascended Masters. It's such a beautiful deck, guys. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can get some more information. Uh, we're going to take the bottom three. Uh, yeah, right. We've got Meditate, okay? <laughs> so... <laughs> You may need to take some time out for yourself. You may need to meditate. You may need to think about something more. You may need to just let something go, mate. You know, get into the headspace, you know, drop into the heart, do what you have to do uh, to be able to let a situation go here or to be able to, you know, get con gain control of your mind. I'm getting for someone here. Someone's very stuck up in the head, I feel. I almost feel like um, my head is spinning, like it's going around in a circle, all right? So something may need to be uh, let go here on some level, uh, a person, a situation, uh, something that's going on, the fact that you can't help anything at the moment, okay? Just let it go. There's, you know, if there's nothing you can do, about something and you've tried to figure it out on every level <laughs> there's no point stressing out about it you might as well just let it go and have a good time until you know until things right themselves okay um so if you need to get go within go within if you need to take time out take the time out we have energy healing here okay so this talks about anything medical okay uh, just in general um which is what we picked up anyway um but energy healing on like a you know bloody spiritual level or whatever it talks about reiki um it, it, it also talks about alternate therapies as well um you know acupuncture things like that now i, I don't know the situation uh you know with, with what you're going through or whatever but i'd imagine that you know majority of those places are shut down at the moment but um there are ways around things here okay so there's things that you can actually do from a distance um which can help you energetically as well and this talks about giving yourself energy healing too okay so this talks about you know appropriate eating um giving yourself the energy that you need taking naps um anything you know um diet uh stuff like that so have it have a good think of what it is that you can do from in your situation um that can help you on this and i'm really feeling a shifting i'm feeling somebody stuck in something um and you know stressing out and then going, you know, nah, 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 you know, this isn't working for me, this isn't the best for me, and literally just branching away. It's almost like two roads, mate. It's like, you know, you've come to a fork, and you're like, do I continue stressing out about this, or do I, you know, branch off and, um, you know, focus on myself? I'm getting a very self-focused um, energy here, so that's great, okay? And if not, you know, if you haven't thought about that, have a think about that. Um, you know, it's not selfish to look after yourself, all right? Um, just saying, all right, if you're constantly, you know, doing things for other people and, uh, you know, your energy is getting depleted because, you know, you do help out other people. I really feel I'm really picking up someone here who just does everything for everybody. All right. And um, yeah, I feel that it's kind of like you've you've just kind of gone, wait a minute, this isn't working for me personally. And I feel that this this person has actually noticed a like a decline in health, um, being stressed out all the time, okay? And you're allowed to bloody break free from that, mate. Like, that's okay. You're allowed to do that, all right? Um, all right. And you know what? Everything that's happened, all right, with, you know, global debacle or whatever, if anything good has come out of this, it is literally... Um, the fact that we've got time to bloody work on ourselves and heal ourselves, okay? This is like the best thing for self-healing that has ever happened worldwide, mate. You know, we've got the time now. We've got the time to be at home, okay, and have a good look at it, you know, our shit. 
you know, have a good look at what, what's been holding us back all these years. You know, um, the things that we haven't been able to face, uh, you know, for years, traumas, um, you know, why things have happened the way that they have. You know, this is perfect. This is golden opportunity to heal, guys. Like, this has been such a blessing, which is what, you know, what has happened with lockdowns and everything, man. Like, this is, the this is like the, I get so excited. This is like the greatest thing to have ever happened on a self-healing level, okay? So now's your chance, guys, to bloody, you know, put in that effort inside of self, you know? We've got hello from heaven, okay? So this talks about, every time this card pops out, this does talk about, um, you know, deceased loved ones being around you at this time. You're going to know if this is you, okay? You could have been receiving signs, symbols, synchronicities. This also talks about the angelic realm as well. You may, you know, be connected with angels, things like that. Things may be speaking to you at this point in time. Um, if, if you're aware of a deceased loved one or, you know, angels around you at this point, um, just this is a confirmation that they are there to support you um, and, uh, you know, they are there to communicate with you if you wish to communicate with them. All right. Um, we've got dream talk here. So somebody's picking up communications, mate. Um, this can talk about actual dreams, okay, and communications within the dream state. Um, also with dream talk, when this pops out for me, okay, especially this combination, stuff like that, normally this is my spirit guides are talking with the deceased, okay. So the dream talk talks about communications on a different level, okay. So it's either within the dream state or it's, uh, you know, psychic hearing, things like that. Um, dream journals as well. If, if you're, you know, receiving dreams at the moment, you haven't kept a journal, I highly recommend that, okay, because someone's receiving communications here, all right? Someone's receiving, I'm getting really intricate, intricate communications, a lot of communication here, all right? So I'm actually getting serious for this person, all right? Because this is like um, exciting. Like, I'm actually getting excited for someone, okay? So be writing this down, guys. Be writing this down if this is you. We've got strength, okay? So for somebody here, we've got strength happening. And I'm, I'm picking up on someone here um, who has just gone through a lot. I'm seeing someone break down in tears, all right, um, with the pressure of family, with what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm getting sick children, okay? So uh, I don't know whether that's grandkids or your own kids, but the kids are sick. Okay, and you're, you're probably sick too, feeling under the weather and because of all the circumstances, uh, I actually see somebody here breaking down and crying, okay, um, but you are a strong, I'm going to say strong woman, okay, because I, I saw a woman, okay, you are a strong woman and you'll be able to get through this, okay, know that this strength is here, I'm sure that you feel this strength, when this pops out like this, you'll be feeling the strength, okay, so don't give up, keep going, you're alright mate, you just do what you need to do. All right, for somebody else here, we've got ourselves into a personal debacle, all right, involving somebody else. And uh, this talks about forgiveness on some level. So you may have felt slighted, somebody may have done something, some, someone may have hurt your feelings on some level, all right, um, and we've got the element of forgiveness, okay? Um, this might, this is kind of coming through as a um, forgive them for they know not what they do, which is quite entertaining considering we just went through Easter, all right, and that is a Jesus quote, all right. Um, so forgive them for they, for they know not what they do, okay. So I feel like somebody is actually going through this, all right, and it's true, okay. Some people don't know what they're doing, okay. They really don't. Um, I remember way back when, especially in my early 20s, uh, I was so caught up in unconsciousness, okay. I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't realize, that, you know, I was hurting people around me, um, you know, things like that. And that's the thing. If we can see things from a different angle or, or someone else's point of view, they may not know what they're doing, mate. Um, so this could be cause, you know, for forgiveness. Otherwise, generally, this talks about, um, you know, forgiving someone within a situation and having the strength to do so, okay. Um, we've got give back here, which is quite interesting. I'm feeling for someone that something is coming in. It's almost like a present. It's almost like a surprise. It almost feels like something's getting dropped off at the doorstep here. We've got, um, yes, definitely things coming in for somebody here. I'm just going to get some information on that give back card. This might be your opportunity too, on a, on a separate message, to be able to help support or um, give back in some way. Otherwise, this is the reverse, like things being repaid to you, all right? 
Yeah, right. So I just got house cleaning for somebody. So someone might be helping somebody out with house cleaning. We've got somebody in their head to do with this give back, okay? And um, I'm really picking up on someone actually like thinking about how they can help somebody out, all right? And the broom fell out, okay, in reverse, um, which if it was upright, this normally talks about an annoyance, okay? Um, but it, it's it's a bloody broom and bl broom's clean, mate. And the fact that it fell out reverse, I'm, I'm thinking it's fairly harmless, mate. Um, this could be uh, somebody thinking about a way to help clean up a situation to help m you know make things less annoying um, less challenging perhaps uh, within a, within a sense in some way so that's that's great if you've got the chance to bloody give back and help within a situation you know by all means do that there's nothing wrong with that all right um, we're gonna get just a couple more cards and then we're gonna have to call it a day Okay, we've got new vitality for somebody here. This is, um, yes, on a physical level, feeling that vitality within. Okay, otherwise, this is about creating your own music and making it bloody happen. And because of that, the um, like side effect of this is happiness. Okay, it's feeling within that power. It's very magician card, very, very magician card. So this is about you, you know, using your own your own, like symbolically your own breath, okay, to create the magic, okay, and this will bring a sense of vitality within your life, okay, we've got coming together and it's in the reverse, so I feel like for somebody here that, um, you know, on a personal level, um, you may have dropped a situation, a social situation, a partnership situation, um, this could also be to do with someone who has had struggles with being able to come together with somebody on a physical level, okay, and um, we've got something which is triggering a new vitality. Um, but happiness always begins from within, okay, so when we're happy within ourselves, we're happy without as well, um, and you know what, I'm feeling that that's kind of the deal, whether this, this person comes back into your life or not, or things correct themselves or whatever, or this situation is now over, okay, um, this new vitality is coming in for you, it is in its power, so well done, we'll get another card on that, <clears throat> yeah, this is all about you guys, Ooh, we've got, open your heart to love, okay, um, open your heart to love, Okay, so if you're struggling within this, uh, especially if this is uh, something that you had hoped for or wished for on a romantic level or, um, you know, even on a friendship level, things like that, uh, this is your opportunity to open your heart to love. And I am feeling that it is very self-focused here, all right, but um, this could be an opportunity for you as well. It d depends, you know, what's going on in your life and what's going to happen. Okay, um, because there's a lot of messages here. But generally speaking, within this situation, if this message is talking to you, this is about opening your heart to love. Okay, and I've just got to say too that I've, I've been getting familiar with this deck, and um, this card fell out for me uh, when I was having um, like heart, oh, I was going through the emotions, right? And you know, heartbreak or whatever. I, I, I don't really label, label it as these things, I just, you know, feel the emotion, get it out, and then that's about it. But this card fell out for that. Okay, but even though I went through the emotions, you know, cried it out or whatever, um, I reopened my heart to love because, you know, I had a choice there. Do I become bitter? All right. Do I become bitter and close myself off and do my typical Capricorn chuck up the walls? No, 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 no. You know, I'm never going to go there again because I'm, you know, afraid of emotional pain or whatever. Or do I, you know, reopen my heart to love because that's what I want to support within my life, okay? So um, that's the kind of vibe we're looking at here. But either way, uh, um, I'm really feeling that, that that's just going to happen anyway, okay? And this is about self-healing, mate. And, uh, you know, as soon as we've gone through the motions, as soon as we've gone through that emotional or mental uh, processing, this always happens. This always happens. There's always a, you know, a, it's like a resurrection, mate. And um, we get that new vitality back, okay? So if you're stuck in a rut right now, don't stress, all right? It's going to come back for you. Don't worry about that, all right? But, like, have bloody faith, mate, in the process, okay? We've been through this 50 million times before, okay? And we've always come back from it. Always come back. So don't don't give up hope, all right? Don't give up hope. It's okay. Um 
Yes, all right. So I'm going to leave it there before my vid cuts out, mate. Um, but I hope you guys have been well. Now, I've been thinking about it. Okay, I'm going to continue the April special for another week. <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to book a reading with me, I'm doing a special, okay, for the next week. All right, I, I don't have the date with me, but you're just going to have to figure it out. Okay, so for the, I'll put it in the title perhaps or in the description box below. Um, so the special is a 30 minute card reading with me for 30 bucks. All right. So if you'd like a 30 minute card reading for $30, the usual price is 50 bucks, mate. Okay. So you're saving $20. So 30 minutes, 30 bucks reading with me, um, online video call through messenger. All right. Um, if you'd like to do that, um, just give us an e email and we'll book you in, mate. All right. So we'll get this happening. All right. So you guys take it easy. Have a good one. And I will see you guys soon. Um, hopefully I'll get some more messages up. We might do some whispers of love soon as well, which would be awesome. All right. I'll see you guys. Sending all my love to you. All right. See you.